<laughs> hey there, boys and girls. What's happening? Um, it's me. <laughs> Let's talk about the P38. Um, I took about a week off of it. Um, my wife and my son, um, were on spring break or winter break or whatever. Um, so they were home. So I didn't get a whole lot of bench time. What bench time I did get was in front of the TV in the evening. And, um, and I had, I, uh, I, uh, I decided to work on that Airfix Tiger one that I had bought not too long ago. And I really goofed that up. Um, and it's already gone, <laughs> but, um, oh no, it's not. It's right here. Uh, bottom line, I put the road wheels together wrong and, and it's, it's, it's a going, it's a lot of effort to fix it and it's not that important to me. So I've moved on. Um, so the P38, let me tell you where we're at. Um, I have a complete airframe here. It's, um. I did break off one thing. It's okay. I can fix it. It's only plastic. You can fix it, right? <laughs> um, I have done some initial, you know, light sanding around on this. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm, uh, um, So today, what my plan is, is I need to paint this front wheel well. So, and then I've got a bunch of uh, parts here on my thing. And I need to put the, I need to put the landing, the landing gear on there and uh, the wheels, get them all set and ready to go. And then we'll be spraying some black Steinle res. And uh, then after that, some of these, the interior of these gear doors will be getting some um, Alclad polished aluminum. Um, yeah, polished aluminum. This is a really old Alclad bottle. <laughs> uh, but there's still a little bit in there. This stuff, you know, this stuff is what? Is this an ounce or is this a half? And I think these are an ounce. And, you know, they're like nine bucks. They're not cheap. Um, but I love this stuff. I mean, as far as metal finishes, I'm not, um, I haven't really tried any of the acrylic metal finishes. Um, I've seen some that look pretty good, um, you know, but, uh, I haven't tried them myself. So let me get, uh, these parts, uh, the rest of these parts mounted and we'll sp spray. I, uh. I'm going to be using my son's uh, Patriot 105 today that I bought him a number of years ago and he's 16 now so he's off doing other things like sports and and hanging out with friends and stuff and I I don't know that he's ever used this. <laughs> I've used it a couple of times. Um, I haven't tried it with Steinle Res. I typically use my Omni 4000 but my Omni 4000 is in dire need of a rebuild and and i gotta send that off to badger one of these days and and um let them deal with it but um so yeah let me get some parts mounted and we'll we'll spray some black style res and then we'll spray some outclad and and uh, and maybe we'll even start putting some color on this thing huh all right well here we go Okay, we do have quite the mess here, but that's okay. Um, so what I need to figure out is how to get these things standing up and get these uh, wheels up here. And the wheels are pretty simple. Um, I should be able to use these... Uh, Q-tips, cut buzz, cut it off. Mm, no. Cut it off at an angle. 
There we go. That'll work. Cut it off at an angle. That'll work. Make sure I get it in there good enough. Now I'm going to cut it sharp, sharper angle. You don't want it coming off. These are not my good cutters. These are ones that I use for wire and whatever else. So, okay, there's that. And then another one, I'll just save my time and do that. And do that. There we go. Okay, there's those three things. I'll just, uh, can I get it in there? There it is. Okay. Um, actually, let me move that. I'll just move this to there. Okay, there we go. And now I just need to figure out a way to do the the gear. Now this is the gear is a little bit tougher than you would think, only because I don't have any blue foam right now, I don't think. Do I? I do not. Okay. So I need to come up with some kind of vehicle that I could stick this stuff into. Um, oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Let's just do this. So we'll take Come on tape. So let me rip off a good piece of tape here. I'm going to stick it on my bench right there. Get this out of here. I'm going to grab some toothpicks out of my drawer. I'm getting low. I got to get some more toothpicks. Round toothpicks are not so easy to find anymore. And I hate these flat ones. And here's one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically turn these, kind of flag these things. And by flag, I mean I'm going to take. So this piece of the, this this is the piece that goes into the, uh, into the mounting hole. So I'm going to, Put my tape on there, bring it around, and then I'm just going to tape it. Well, that didn't stick very well here. Let me get a couple more bits on here. There, that's better. And then I'm just going to Put that in there like that. And then it'll go like that. Hey, okay. Let's try that again. See this extra leftover tape? I have a shelf up here above me, and I'm just going to stick it to that shelf and let it hang down. And then I can use it next time. Okay, so this, we're going to do the same thing. I don't know if you got to see that last time. Wrap it around. Make sure it's not where you're gonna you need paint. Um, wrap it a couple of times to get a good seal on it. Take a toothpick here, and we're gonna seal it in there. And hopefully. You got a good enough bond that it'll stay. And you'll find out when you start hitting it with 30 pounds of pressure. Now we're using Steinal Res, and Steinal Res requires 25 pounds of P 25 PSI. Um, and you may be saying, well, so what? 
Is that a big deal? Why does that matter? Um, it matters when you're trying to hold stuff down because it's a lot of pressure <laughs> and things want to go flying around on you. So, um, doesn't look like I got too good of a, doesn't look like I did a good job here on this one. Did I? Did I, did I? No. Okay, that's all right, because I can just do this. So the part's on the tape, but the tape's not holding to the toothpick. So I'm just gonna put a clamp on it. There we go. Okay, and we're ready. We're ready. So I'm gonna take the P38, the main frame here, and I am going to, I'm gonna shoot it first. Actually, I got my scrap paper here. I'm going to shake my Steinle res, check my air pressure. Now, you check something to be aware of that you may not know is when you check your air pressure, you always check it with the valve open. My compressor typically drops about four to five pounds. So I set the gauge at 30. When I pull the trigger, I get about 26, according to my gauge. But, you know, who, who knows how accurate the gauge is. The correct pressure is whatever works. <laughs> but Steinle Res requires high pressure. Um, I know a lot of people shoot it at low pressure. Um, I don't. Because they specifically tell you not to do that. Um, I don't know why. Let's Try it here. But Ken, I trust Ken, so I'll do what Ken says. And I am just spraying into this wheel well. Now, the nice thing about Steino Res is it's self leveling. I'm not telling you to go out and make runs, but if you do end up with a run, don't worry about it, it will take care of itself. It sounds like a hurricane because it's a lot of pressure. No doubt about it. That looks good. Okay, I'm gonna let me set this off to the side before I drop it. Okay, looks like I got plenty of primer in here. Still flowing good. So I'm going to take all of these individual pieces off of here. Ah, I just went on the floor. So I'm going to get these out of here. Leave the stuff that's taped on there. And I'm going to paint this stuff first. So I'm going to come in here and make sure I got your flow still, which I do. I know I'm in your way. Sorry. Just trying to make sure that I get good coverage on all the edges. And on these particular, you know, these are some of the cockpit radio parts and stuff. Some of these parts are going to be black. And I absolutely will, if I can, leave the Steinle Res as the black final color. 
um, on parts. If, if it works out that way, I am. I will do that. I have no issue doing that. Okay, I'm getting low. I'm not low yet, but I know I'm going to run out. So I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Okay, so um, let's see here. So now, check the flow. Boom, just like that. Okay, I'm going to try and uh, keep the airbrush out of the way. It ain't going to work. Just like that. I want to make sure that I got all the edges because the inside of these wheel wells is aluminum and that's that's why I'm using the, the black primer. Now am I going to prime the outside of these doors? I don't know, I'm kind of torn. I'm using Tamiya for the for the final color coats so I can get away with not using a primer and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna use a primer so let's bypass the primer on that but let's get to these pieces here uh, let me push this back there we go pretty good I don't really need a hole for that one I'm gonna set it down here compressor <laughs> okay sorry about that I'll just edit that out later so I am just making sure I got a good coat here Steinal res um, I don't worry too much about uh, it running. It's self-leveling. It, it does a wonderful job of self-leveling. So I don't worry about it too much. I'm pretty lazy with it. Okay. Looks like, what do I got going on here? Oh, I got a bunch of bubbles, so it looks like I got a lot of primer in there, and I really don't. <laughs> That's all right. Boom. Put that one in there. Okay. So we got a little run right there. Gonna blow some air on it. See that there? So that wasn't ideal. But it will fix itself right up. Whoop, pain in my fingers.
Okay, is that all we got to prime? I think that's all we got to prime. All right, well, I'm going to go clean this airbrush out. Yeah, we'll go from there. I'll be back. All right, here we go. Alclad polished aluminum, Alclad 2 polished aluminum. This is my really old bottle, and this is my new bottle. Because this is not going to be enough, I'm sure. I got my pressure dialed in. Oh, a little bit of water in here. Make sure this thing's cleared out. Don't want any water in the paint. I'll turn my compressor off so it doesn't start on us. Make sure we're nice and mixed. Now that looks like a lot of paint, but we'll probably go through all of it. Woo. It's dripping. Something's dripping. Ah, oh, the air cap's leaking. There's bubbles coming out of the air cap right there. All right. I think we'll be all right. Well, these don't need any aluminum. So we can get these out of here. But these do. Missed it on very, very lightly at first. All right, we'll come back to that one later. I'm going to bring all these down here, get them out of the way so I can do all these doors first here. See that color kind of starting to come in there? So I've got full air and very little paint coming out of here. So I'm running about 15 pounds of pressure and not much on the paint. And we're getting out of the getting out of the end of it there. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. We're gonna need some more. So I'm gonna take this old jar. Yeah, I don't know, I might keep that. I usually throw all my paint jars away, but these are pretty nice jars. Set that down for a second. There 
There we go. All right. See how that brightened up real quick light? Can you even see what's going on over there? Here, let me bring this over here. You really just have to do this stuff in layers. That's just how it works. That was a little, a little loose there, Jim. <laughs> I got a little crazy. Okay, go back to this leg here. There's our final on that. Yeah, this bottle's covering a lot better than that old one. I should throw that old one away. Because it was not, not mixing well and whatnot. That looks good. That looks good. Now these wheels actually do have an aluminum ring. Okay, and I just remembered there's a couple things on this sprue that I forgot about. One being this. Now, yeah, I did not primer these, and I will probably have to touch them up later, but that's okay. The lack of primer really just means that they're going to be a different, they're not going to be as bright. And, and that's okay, it just it gives us some variation, right? Variation is good. So that's that. And then there are these little guys here. I 
door actuators. Whoop, we're out of paint. A little bit, just a little bit. Oop, that's more than a little bit, but it's okay. Okay. There we go. How are we looking here? Everything looks pretty good. Nice. Oh, guess what I forgot? Let me get this out of here. I forgot about the wheel well. <laughs> the front wheel well. That's kind of important. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the front wheel well, Jim. The front wheel well. We got to do the front wheel well. Well, I'm going to need more paint, obviously. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. Now, this is going to get kind of tricky. You know what? Actually, maybe it's not. Well, that went very well. I'm kind of blown away by how easy that went. Nice. Okay, well, there we go. Got a little bit left in here. What should we do with it? Ooh, that just gave me an idea. Just give me an idea. It's all right. I know I normally say don't put stuff back in a bottle, but I'll make an exception in this case. Expensive stuff. Okay, well, there we go. I guess I need to uh, clean the airbrush and we'll go from there. All right. Well, hey, I think that's it for today, or for this episode anyway. It's only, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning, so who knows? Maybe I will do more. I need to really think about the, uh, the main colors. Um, you know, this, this is... Contrary to popular belief, this is not going to be neutral gray and olive drab. It's, um, Lockheed at the time was using British colors from what I can tell, uh, which means the top is going to be, uh, the British dark green and the bottom is going to be like a medium sea gray or something close to that. Um, I'll probably fudge it a little and use what I have. 
like a, I don't know, like IGN gray. I don't know. I think this sky gray might be a little too light. Maybe throw some blue in there. I might use neutral gray. Use the green, the British dark green, and the neutral gray. We'll see. I'll go with it, right? You know me. I'll just go with it. But I got a couple of little detail parts to put on here, and I'm going to run some fine sandpaper across the surface and get rid of some imperfections. Yeah. Figure out how I'm going to mask these wheel wells off. And we'll go from there. So until next time, as usual, take care of the people you love. We'll see you then. Bye.